You expect me to be your star witness? The only thing Martin is a witness to is his own bitterness. Whatever it is, it's all on tape. Thanks to your first-hand account of Zack and Dixie's actions the night Greg Madden disappeared, I have everything I need. You've got nothing. I can't believe you would do this to me. So you get, so you get a little sneaky, you wire the place for sound. Your little taped eyewitness account doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. It's bupkis. You all right there, Martin? You really earned your gold shield today, didn't you? Congratulations, Derek. Well done. You sneak into your friend's house, you plant a couple bugs, have the gumption to follow this one over here, and also you could tape a conversation the jury's never gonna hear. Your high-tech stakeout is worthless without a court order. I have a court order. Really? Well, I'm uh, just curious, where did you get it? Did you pick it up? At the mall on your way over is a special delivery? I got an order for this house, your office, your car, your garage, your phone, even your gym locker if I needed it. You can't be serious. I got the orders weeks ago, after listening in on your little jailhouse visit to Zach and Dixie. You made it very clear you knew way more than you were willing to tell, so I wired you, listening to every word you've spoken for weeks. But this, today, was the payoff. You've said everything I was waiting to hear. All of them lies. You saw Zack and Dixie at the airport sliding a body into Dixie's trunk the very night Madden disappeared. It's over. It's a little thing called a trial, Derek. A minor detail in this case. You're finished, Slater. And so is Dixie. You son of a bitch. You may want to let go of the chief. You call yourself my friend? Stand down, Tad, before you get hurt. Don't. Don't you tell me to stand down. How much have we been through together? How long have we known one another? Too long for you to do something like this. You ever heard the word loyalty? How about privacy, Derek, huh? So where'd you put it, right? The sofa, the furniture, the neck. Don't tell me to phone. It's stereotypical. Well, here we go, what about? <laughs> Perfect. In the lamp. Okay, there's one. So how many more are there? Huh? Fifty? A hundred? A thousand? Not a exactly Charles well, Shakespeare oh, Company, but he's doing well. He's pushing through. It's a nice performance. Shut up, Slim. Let me ask you something. You went to the police academy. They must have told you what's real and what's fake, right? He's upset because I slept with Dixie, and Dixie signed away his daughter. Come on, you got a badge, you got a gun, you can figure this out. I suggest you give Livia a call. Your best bet for a lenient sentence is to make a deal with the DA. I can't do that. Excuse me. Okay, you and Josh, business. One night only? It happened, it's done, it's over. Yeah. But was it romantic? Okay, do was he into care? crazy stuff? I need to know. Do we care? Yes. All right, another place, another time. What's going on here? No balloons, no confetti. I thought you guys would be celebrating. Are you drunk? I'd like to be. You know, would you please leave? I came here to drink some of Kendall's champagne. Okay, what the hell are you talking about? Dixie's coffin and my coffin just been nailed. Tad saw you and Dixie at the airport with a body? That's not what happened, but that's what he said, yes. Well, I'll take Ted's side any day. You will take anybody's side who will listen to you, Simone. This is, this is not happening. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Guess Congreve didn't know Tad Martin. You know what? That slut, that slut dragged you into this. I, I don't understand how you could lower yourself into bed with a woman who would sign away her own child. A woman who would hide from her own family. Clearly the most selfish woman on the face of this earth. And, and you jumped into bed with her, which is sick and absolutely repulses me. And you, you wouldn't even be charged with, with a murder you didn't commit if it weren't for Dixie. You can't put it all on her. No, I can do whatever I want, and I want you out of here now. I'm I not playing this you with you. You heard her, get out. Or do you need some help? Don't let the door hit you in your butt. Girls. Thank you, Josh. Or 
defending me to Zach. It, it was very kind of you, but you didn't have to. I can handle him. It's called doing a favor for family. Yeah, well, I don't understand what the hell is going on because Zach is still defending Dixie even after she dragged him to jail. Well, maybe Zach wasn't dragged anywhere. Maybe he went willingly wherever Dixie wanted him. Yeah, to her bed, maybe. But not... Not killing Greg. I can't see it. I think it was some sick story that Tad made up to get back at Dixie. I can feel the weight of your stare. Don't look at me like that. I'm not stupid. I know. Hey, guys. So I have an awesome idea on the marketing for the Zarf song. Excuse me. I have to find a bucket. you now. 